A Sugar Land City employee was killed after burglary suspects slammed into his work truck during a police chase. The chase took Missouri City Police through multiple jurisdictions before coming to a devastating end. Katira Winfrey live at the scene with an update. Katira. Well, the area here at Highway 90 in Gillingham has been closed off for nearly eight hours, giving you an idea of the intensity of this crash. Sugarland City employee Joseph Aponte died here, and police say a trio of burglary suspects will be heading to jail after they get out of the hospital. A powerful impact left these two vehicles mangled. Police say one belongs to a trio of suspected burglars, the other an innocent city of Sugarland employee. It's kind of an all hands on deck when, when something like this happens. Around 1030 Wednesday morning near Gillingham and Highway 90, a chase that started in Missouri City cut through Stafford, ending with devastating consequences. Police say 56 year old Sugarland City employee Joseph Aponte died when those suspected burglars ran a red light and hit him. We owe it to the victim's family to do everything we can to put every single piece of what happened here back together again and regardless of how much time that takes, we're going to do it. Missouri City Police started chasing the suspects after spotting two vehicles they believe were used in a residential burglary. One of those cars was stopped in the Houston area and one driver arrested, but not the other car. So absolutely, we'll be pursuing murder charges, 100%. The victim had to be cut out of his work truck, and despite life-saving measures from other city workers already in the area, he didn't make it. Police say three suspects were in the crashed-out vehicle, and two had to be extricated. As soon as they tried to chop that vehicle, it fled and fled through Stafford into Sugarland. Since this is a multi-jurisdictional incident, Missouri City Police will handle any burglary charges, and Sugarland will handle scene reconstruction and additional charges. The Injuries, they're still being evaluated at the hospital. Um, the suspect that we caught that in the second vehicle that went into Houston, he's currently in custody. And Missouri City Police say because they are still putting everything together, they can't say just yet if this fell in line with its police pursuit policy. For now, reporting live in Sugarland, Katira Winfrey, KHOU 11 News.